Ready? Hey, Mike. Hey, man, what's up? You ready for a silly joke? Yep. Do you like removing snow? Nope. I know that was a joke because nobody likes removing snow. <laughs> um, we knew better and we still do this. I know. Uh, but imagine trying to pour this into, into two IPA glasses. Uh, this beer comes courtesy of Praia Brewing. This is snow removal and it's got a, uh, you know, a giant plow with some skulls on it going through, removing some snow, I assume in Baltimore. It, it looks like a, almost like a Mad Max thing. It actually does, yeah. It really does. It is really fucking cool can art. Oh man, I love their can art so much. I love their can art. I just in just the can, like the way that the can feels. Oh, that. That's just gonna start jerking it off. <laughs> What's in this one? Um, you're gonna love it. Snow removal is brewed with a heavily, ooh, with a heavily oated and very pale base. I didn't remember the oats, and then liberally hopped and dry hopped with Australian Galaxy. There we go. I'm going to pop this in front of the camera so you can get some ASMR fans. Well, you just got <laughs> beer everywhere. Well, let me just pour a little bit in here for Carrie. Here you go. So there, we know a few things about snow removal being from New England, so. You know, it is what it is. Oh my God, I just got a smell of that. Holy moly. So, got about two fingers ahead there. I got one. And this, this actually looks a little bit different than the other one. It, it does. It's just a little bit darker, right? Um, but it, it does have some characteristics of that, just that pariah look. But it's it's just a little darker, a little more, um, more of like, somewhere between like peach and orange. Yeah. Kind of. This one's seven point three percent, by the way. Fourteen ideas. And yeah, peach, yeah, that's actually the perfect way to put it. Like on, if you zoom in here, it's Those way, yeah, it's like way brighter because I think the lights. But yeah, it's a little bit, a little lighter than it is on camera. But do we get a nose? So, oh, that's bubble gummy. Very bubble gummy, right? There is pineapple there, but yeah. it's but the bubble gumminess is kind of overpowering it. Yeah, it, it, there, it, there's like that when you crack open a can of Dole, like yeah. pineapple, it get that 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 sort of that sharp sweetness. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get past that. Like, like, and the pineapple is there, but that's. Yeah, you get bubblegum and pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> Which. Yeah. <laughs> get, Come on. I'm not gonna complain. No. But you do get uh, you do get some uh, orange pith. A little bit. There's a little bit of like. A vegetalness to it a little yep. bit. A little bit of peach too. Oh yeah. That smells really good. It does. You try it? Oh yeah, I do. Cheers. Cheers, bud. Thanks, Pryor. Ooh. Ooh. That's way more bitter than I expected. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess given that it's like a, a, a well, it's seven point three percent. The other one, the other double up was eight point three percent, so one percent difference. But it does have that that nice level of bitterness, and it has that like crushed pineapple, galaxy on 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 the on, on the palate. Oh yeah. But yeah, wow. It does have that vegetal note too. Mm -hmm. Um, it it's not as bubble gummy on the palate as no. it is on the nose. No. Uh, it's much more. Uh, it's much more fruit in uh, fruit pith forward. Um, it does have, said that pineapple, it does have um, just a little bit of orange, just a little bit of orange, but a lot of orange pith. It does have some peachiness though to it, for sure. Mouthfeel wise, for like, for like a single IPA, it does have a little extra oomph than normal, so I guess that's probably just from the oats, just giving a little bit extra heft. Yeah. I, I, you do get more of the grain build in it on this one. Uh, you do get sort of a, like a like a bready crackery kind yeah. of thing, which I like. The one thing I guess like complaint, not really a complaint, but like more if it says liberally hop and dry hop the galaxy, I think I'm expecting. But but then again, like for those that have been watching for years, you know that Mike and I are like galaxy yeah. nuts. Yeah. Like, all the it, galaxy in the world. Yeah, it's, it's unfair. We, so, so I think I was just looking for a little bit more. You know what I mean? But other, but other than that, like it's really good. Like like that, that bitterness just like kicks in perfectly. Yeah, I like that it's really dry finish. Yeah, it's really really nice. Um, it it does it cleans up right away. The, the bitterness does sort of like 
linger a little bit. But on the whole, like as soon as like after you take a sip and now you're ready to go again. Yeah. Ready to go again. Yeah. That, that's the issue with these prior beers lately. Is that they, they just want you to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get me drunk. <laughs> don't ask me twice. <laughs> well, don't tell me twice. Uh, this says notes of pineapple, guava, and subtle passion fruit accented by our house yeast. Oh, so there we go. That's the house yeast. That's the bubble gum. Probably. Hold on. A delicious counterpoint to the season, period. We hope you... And then nothing. <laughs> wow, that is... Wow. That is exactly what it says. I guess someone at the label printers didn't properly uh, check the proof. <laughs> Maybe that's a gimmick. Maybe they do that sometimes. They're just messing with us. Yeah. I love that art, man. It's so fucking cool. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Uh, hashtag would buy, by the way. Hmm? Hashtag would buy. Mm. That's a good one. Would buy. Oh, yeah. There's like the last one. Yeah. I would, I would definitely crush a four pack of these after. Well, I mean, not a whole four pack after removing mm, some snow. I would do the whole four pack. Put some of these in the snow while you're snow blowing. Yes. One in a koozie. Actually, I need to, well, yeah. One in like a koozie and the rest in the snow. Or one on your hat in the straw. Two in your hat. There we go. You usually have two of them and then just. Yeah, there we go. It's perfect. Mm. It's delicious. Yeah, it's really good. I think as it warms, I am getting a little bit more galaxy, a little bit more sweeter crushed pineapple. A little, there's a little more of a sweetness coming through maybe as it's getting warmer. but Which is not unusual. Um, usually yeah. it's warm. It's, and, 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 and this was sitting off for a while. We were shooting the shit for like 10 to 15 minutes before we hit the yeah, It actually seems colder than the last one. We, we drank right out of the fridge. Which is weird, yeah. <laughs> it's funny how those things work. Yeah, the nose is actually modifying too. Well, changing. Mm. It is nowhere near as bubblegummy. No. Much more vegetal. More pineapple. And peach. But you don't you don't get really as much of the, the yeah, bubblegum. That's interesting. It's good. Yeah, this is really good. Um Priya, thank you again for sending this. Down in the comments, if you had snow removal by by, by Priya, they're Australian Galaxy Hopped and Dry Hopped IPA. What do you think of that? What do you think of, of Priya in general's have a conversation? Nerdsense.net, Instagram and Facebook. If those are your things, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and notification bell so you know if I post some videos. And I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And, and this, this is Nerd Sense. Sense. Cheers. Cheers, bud. Clink. Are you laughing because I had to make the sound effect? <laughs>